Billy was hiding out in an abandoned farm near Stinkin' Springs. I threw in with the kid because the man I had sworn vengeance on was riding with Billy's enemies. But before I tell you why I want that some bitch dead, let me tell you what happened that day. I was heading back to the hideout when suddenly I had this funny feeling. Funny, haha? -ha? No, Steve. The other kind of funny. That's not fair. We're missing all the fun. I knew those two morons would never let me through. I had no choice. Who's that? Is he with us? <laughs> Was it Pat Garrett's posse? Oh, yeah. I heard the shots and I knew I had to move fast. Garrett and his army of deputies had surrounded the entire homestead. I decided to help Billy and the boys out of it. So that's just what I did. As the governor of New Mexico was paying for the kid's apprehension, Garrett was able to hire every gun hand in Lincoln County. I knew that going through that front door meant putting my butt in a shooting gallery, so I decided to get sneaky. reached the water tower. Not a bad idea. It would be a turkey shoot from up there. Luckily, these shooters Garrett hired weren't the sharpest tools in the shed. A lot of them were saddle tramps or sod busters or drunken drifters looking to make a few bucks. voice yelling at me from the window. Back door! We'll cover you! Truth be told, things weren't much better behind the house. I cut their numbers in half, but they just made the ones that were left twice as mad. They made up for their lack of skill with a seemingly endless supply of ammo. I finally fought my way around the back of the house. And like that, You're I was inside. Dead, None the worse for wear. I passed Dirty Dave, and upstairs I found Billy I'm and Charlie Bolton.
Billy looked at me and said, About time, amigo. Grab a gun and get to the window. Wait, so you were friends with Billy the Kid? Yeah, sort of. Anyway, we were surrounded by dozens of deputized shooters who wanted to do us harm. I'm telling you, Garrett's men were dropping like flies, but they just kept on coming. I think I got one! That's when Charlie got hit. They're catching us in a crossfire, shouted Billy. Get to the other side. Put down. It was pretty clear, even to Billy, that maybe discretion was the better part of valor. What's that mean? It means that it was time to cut and run. They got a gallon, Billy shouted. Get the horses and bring them round back. I'll draw their attention. He directed that order at me, and I thought, why the hell do I have to do it? Many would have fled in my place. But I had that false sense of invincibility that many young men have. Like Jack here. What are you saying, old man? Jack is this joshing with him. Yeah, he better be. Mr. Graves, please continue. Please, call me Silas, ma'am. Now, uh, where was I? You were heading for the bar. Garrett hired a whole regiment of hired guns. Yeah. And just when I thought I was done with them, more of these hapless bastards would pop up. <laughs> Finally, I had the stables within my reach. And that's when I met Sheriff Pat Garrett. I read that you went toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, sir. That backstabbing bastard with that tacked-on tin star. challenged him to a showdown. You read that in a dime novel? It said he showed no fear as he took your measure with eyes like a rattlesnake. In a fair fight. <laughs> Is that what that penny dreadful said? No, boy. That ain't what I meant when I said I met Pat Garrett. So let me start again. I finally reached those damn stables. And stepped inside. And bam! <laughs> Last thing I heard was Garrett's voice. That's not Billy. And go on. 
How did it end? And, boy, that was just the beginning. So what happened? Did Garrett arrest you? It's important to know that I was only riding with Billy so I could find the bastard I was after. He was with John Kinney's gang, and they were sworn enemies of Billy's regulators. Why were you after him? I owed that son of a bitch a bullet for what he had done to me and mine. Instead, all I got for myself was a goddamn death sentence. Luckily, it was right around then that I heard Billy make his move. He shot Jim Bell and a few other guards as he made his getaway. Later, they wrote that some lady friend planted a pistol for him in the privy. What the papers didn't say is that Billy helped me escape, too. My first order of business was finding a firearm. Luckily, I located Deputy Bob Ollinger's mean-ass shotgun. I saw Billy through the window, and he yelled that I should take to the rooftops to make my escape. So I did. Anybody see Billy? Oh yeah. That scatter gun was like a double-barreled hell. <laughs> it could blow a man clear off his feet. You hardly had to aim the damn thing. Guards were everywhere looking for him. Oh I had to jump from roof to roof like a damn alley cat. I followed the planks where I could, but... Some of that wood was slippery as hell. The whole town was up in arms. Oh! Suddenly, I was a fugitive. So that bastard you were after, what did he do? He did me and my family a grievous harm, but I knew if I was ever going to find him, I would need to get my ever-loving ass out of there. I tried to be stealthy and sneak my way past. But hell if they weren't all waiting for me. Apparently, some of them thought I was Billy. Kids shared a certain similarity in build and color. I was just glad I had Deputy Bob's mean ass shotgun. by my head, it was like everyone in Lincoln wanted to put me in the ground. I knew I needed to find a horse. 
Though I never did have a great fondness for those four-legged grass eaters. Smelly, sweaty, ungrateful beasts. We prize them too high, if you ask me. while you were busy getting shot at. Gone. And that's when it occurred to me why Billy said it. So I could be a hapless decoy and draw attention while he snuck out of town. I knew if I made it out of there in one piece, no one would put a price on my head. Because everybody in Lincoln would be dead? No. Because they all thought I was Billy. And all that blame would fall on him. Meanwhile, Deputy Bob Ollinger was organizing a posse to put me down. He was already a mean son of a bitch, but he was doubly pissed that I stole his mean ass shotgun. taking out Bob Ollinger the way he did. Billy didn't kill Bob. Well, sure he did. He dispatched him right after he shot Deputy Bell. No, sir. Because Bob came right up behind me, angry as hell that Billy had lit out. Hello, Bob, I said. 
I think you better let me go. And he says, I don't think so, boy. Not with my shotgun. So we stood there in the middle of the street, eyeball to eyeball. He intended to kill me, and I knew I had no choice but to defend myself. Some say I fought unfairly, but they weren't the ones looking him in the eye that day. Pat Garrett gunned down Billy.